take on Slagger Rovers. Following John Coleman's departure to Accrington, Stanley head of youth development Gavin Dykes took temporary charge of Sligar Rovers, but his team struggled at the showgrounds on Saturday night. Gavin Hoolan twice went close to giving Drogheda an early lead. Drogheda came into this game licking their wounds after their 5-0 cup defeat in Derry, and they continued to dictate proceedings. Gary Rogers did well to shovel away this corner, and Mick Daly's attempt from a tight angle was eventually scrambled away. But Drogheda made the breakthrough after 34 minutes. Hulhan broke forward before sliding the ball to Declan O'Brien and Fabio did what Fabio's been doing for years. 1-0 to Drogheda United. At times the Sligo goal lived a charmed life. Alan McNally's header was cleared away by Eamon Zaid and in the chaos that followed, Drogheda couldn't force the ball home. The trend of the game continued in the second half. Gavin Brennan's pumping header brilliantly tipped over by Gary Rogers. But Drogheda sealed the win on 57 minutes. Sligo gave away possession all too easily and Stephen Maher raced clear and showed great composure to stroke the ball past Rogers. It says much about Sligo's performance that their first meaningful chance didn't arrive until the 81st minute. Paul O'Connor, who was at Drogheda last season, saw his drive pushed behind by Schlingerman. David Cawley's corner was met by the head of Evan McMillan and Gavin Pearce did well to direct the ball goalwards but Drogheda stood firm and survived. In fact, Drogheda might well have added a third. Controlled passing before Gavin Brennan played in Declan O'Brien who knocked the ball narrowly wide. Drogheda, comfortable winners. Sligar overs nil, Drogheda United two. I don't think it was a 2 nothing game. I think defensively we made two poor mistakes. Uh, look, we tried to play. I, uh, some of the positives, we have a lot of young lads. Gary Armstrong done very well when he was done. Young Boylan done well again. Uh, a lot of the senior players will be a bit disappointed in there, but it's been a tough week for them. Mm -hmm. And uh, no better way to go on and go to Cork next week. We've just got to be positive and try and do some damage down there. It was a powerful performance, particularly in the first half when we had uh, Sligo all over the place. But overall, it was a very good win. Uh, but more importantly to me, it was a very, very good team performance.